हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज आर वेरी फर्स्ट यूट्यूब वीडियो फॉर आर चैनल फोर रनर्स दैट मीन्स लर्न एवरी मिनट टू सक्सीड एवरी आर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द बेसिक ऑफ डेटा साइंस वाई टू परस्यू करियर एज अ डेटा साइंटिस्ट वॉट आर देयर रोल्स वॉट दे परफॉर्म वॉट आर द बेसिक स्टेजेस ऑफ एनी डेटा साइंस प्रोजेक्ट्स and uh, basically what is the prerequisite knowledge that you must have to become a successful data scientist so i'll st start with the basic definition of data science as it is very well quoted by the hall varian he is a chief economics at google and a professor of information sciences business and economics at uc berkeley he said that the ability to take data to be able to understand it to process it to extract value from it to communicate it and to visualize it he also quoted that data science will be a important skill in the next decades as per the harvard business review article he also quoted that data science is the most aspiring job for the 21st century now what exactly this data scientist do it's a quite thing to you know understand so basically i'll explain what are the new aspects of data scientist uh, data science in the field of technology a 28% demand increase by 2020 also lots of number of job openings and the average base salary is dollar 12931 quite huge also it is number one job in america for the consecutive 3 years that is 2016 17 and 18 so what are the role of a basic data science what they exactly do and uh, how like how they perform their business why they are being so cool that even harvard business review stated that data science is the most aspiring job for the 21st century think okay so i'll uh, explain you what exactly they do see first the raw data they get it from the huge resources that is from uh, your facebook data your google data your gps data your sensor data all are in unstructured structured format even there are different types of data type format these raw data are then pre processed this is done by a data scientist and then converted into a data set thereafter these data sets are being given to the statistical model for statistical analysis this is also done by data scientist now they visualize this result by a dashboard customized chart also they send this reports to the business head and thus all this process combined into a data driven projects one of the aspect of data sets is also that this data sets can be given to a machine learning model machine learning model and then this machine learning model are used for predictive analysis predictive analysis in sense of we are to predict the future forecomings that what will be the consumption sale down the five line five years also this results can be also visualized and reports can be made and further all these are accumulated and can be used as a data driven projects so this is the role of a data scientist now these are the different stages of data science life cycle so first stage is capture and under capture there are data acquisition signal reception data entry data extraction now data acquisition in terms of we gather we collect the data from different sources for example uh, your facebook data your uh, gmail related data your location related data signal reception in terms of in any internet of things driven project where we deploy a lot of sensor at the remote location all this sensory data can be accumulated and then we can further analyze it and process it second stage is maintain in under maintenance we do data cleaning 
that is we clean the data the data which we required for our project will only focus on those data then data warehousing that means to store the data and then data processing third stage is process under the process we do data mining that is basic etl operation that is extract transform and load then data modeling in data modeling we create data tables in terms of records fields you know table structures so this can be done via hive query language sql language pipark in case of spark engine based projects and then data summarization fourth stage is analyze here we do exploratory analysis then predictive analysis then descriptive analysis text mining in predictive as i already mentioned we have a prediction for the future in descriptive we have status related data for example what is the mean what is the median what is the mode in text mining we extract the information from the text that is to give a insight further is the communicate step where we do data visualization technique reporting decision making in terms of kpi kpi means key performance indicators where we analyze the system performance like your mark sheet gives how well you perform in the examination similarly kpi gives the performance evaluation of any industry and there are many data visualization tools that you can explore for example apache superset zoom data kibana business intelligence that is basically used by the business leader like we the insights are present on the dashboard and which is further used by the business head to take a favorable decision for their organization so and how we are taking the decision by analyzing the kpi on the real time basis on the dashboard and thus which will further influence our decision making capability of any business head or stakeholders that are involved in your organization so basically these are the different stages of any data science life cycle also called as dslc just like your software development life cycle is there data science itself has its different stages which we use so uh, i guess i'm pretty clear with the different stages of data science life cycle so further i'll move to the next slide that is what are the basic prerequisite knowledge that you must possess to become a successful data scientist basically you should be you should be having a clear fundamentals in your mathematical concepts like statistic probability and we will also discuss this statistic probability topic in our next video lecture i'll be describing about what are the statistic probability concepts that you should know programming language r python scala that is also we are going to present in our next video data visualization techniques like superset zoom data there will be a good session on this also in our further video lectures machine con learning concepts like basic regression classification clustering technique all the stuff we will be taking up also we will also reach out to deep learning techniques and basics of neural networks that you will be ne needed for a to become a successful data scientist as we quoted so also on top of everything your will to learn data science is a cherry on top so unless and until you will not try to learn anything new nobody can force you only you can do it so i request you all to please watch this video uh, next lectures also next youtube lectures also and please do like comment and share our video and don't forget to subscribe guys please we need your support thank you